and here we are. The Langoliers. And I admit I was expecting to find something as a pre-made world, so... There are no options! I bet the seed is fixed. <laughs> there are no options! Langolier's display screen. Yep. And a and actually a fixed world, even though it doesn't look like it. In case of a Langolier's apocalypse, break the glass and run to the tree. <laughs> ah <laughs> That looks like a pickaxe. And the tree, and there's no uh, zoom on this, is... Oh, that tree. Keyboard. Screen, tier three. Computer case. There goes my microphone again. All right. Be right back. The new version of Project Red is available. Um, as a 461, we've got block placers, importers, wrong metadata is being fixed, world gen improvements, gem armor, colored lights. Deviating lily farming overall loss. I suspect that meant devastating. Lamps letting skylight through. Volcanoes, lava not flowing. We are not in hardcore questing mode. So the quests exist, but it's not a fixed number of lives. Vein miner using client keybind. See mod config for details. Compat Machines is supported in in-game wiki, but in-game wiki is not installed. <laughs> Journey Map is on J. Thermal Dynamics is available, but we're not updating anything. And... Okay, so the first thing is I'm in a nice, safe room. Nothing is happening, and this is a chance to learn how things work. When did fireworks for achievements become the norm? Langoliers, but I cannot read that last line. What is that supposed to say? Start new something. I'm going to say yes. I can hear the disk drive. It sounds like an old Apple II. Error.
You harvest the clear glass. It does not break. Yeah, I'm afraid this is not going to be a long-lived game. Goodbye, fair world. Respawn. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what is supposed to happen? I don't know. But I do know this. The game started with the day timer right around here. And I don't know if it's because I tried running that computer program or what. But around halfway through the first day, the world was basically eaten by a decay block of some kind. And I'm now down to just respawning in the void. So this world is dead, and I need to start a new world. But that's the first... <laughs> That's the first complete, uh, complete death. <laughs> the world is fixed. No. Broken. <laughs> All right. So, iTunes Utils has an update. All right. So, let's not touch that computer program, shall we? No, I'm not going to say yes because saying yes causes problems. Break the glass and run to the tree. All right. So, you said shift and right click okay shift right click okay now I am recording yes I am recording so let's see what happens if I break the apparent progression. Red alloy wire, signal T121. The real McCrafters siren mod. <laughs> Oh, look what I just broke by accident. So, starting world, we've got a small platform. We've got some... Ooh, and this appears to be a room that was not immediately... 
Oh, wow. What is... That is the alarm. That is the timer. So I'm guessing that when I broke, when I activated that computer, I set off this thing. And once it went all the way down to the bottom, probably at that spot, the decay or whatever was unleashed. Now, just because... Here is the rest of that starting area. Block of iron. And yes, looking for holes in maps like this is how I normally play. So there's a lot of iron in this place if we ever manage to figure out how to actually do anything here. It's a house of some kind. So you're given a house. It's has no immediately accessible entryway. You have to basically break your way in. Oh, sorry, I just broke some panes that are not replaceable. a strange structure. Yeah, this apparently does not go off until you trigger the computer. So the computer is not your friend. Paranoia basic rule, the computer is not your friend. We've got a meeting room and tables, a swimming pool, I'm nice, a uh, little farming area. I am aware that my food supply is starting to go down. See if there is a way inside the house over here. There we are. Looks like a doorway. Look at how safe and secure this area is. Difficulty normal, and no mobs. So either I have been close enough 
to this spot that mobs cannot have spawned, or there is something like a magnum torch protecting the starting island from spawns. I see those. Uh, I'm trying to understand what the mini map is showing me, and it's showing me sheep, taiga, plains, extreme hills, river. All right. Bacterium colony. Yeah. You see a creeper? Thank you. Okay. Well. I think I'm going to break this so that nothing is going to trigger the bacterium colony. In fact, if I break the bacterium colony... Yes, it is gone! I hope I haven't destroyed myself. I hope I'm not going to need that. But at least now nothing can cause it to trigger. <laughs> Good point. Ooh, ooh, there's more of them. <laughs> yeah. All right. If there's creepers there, they're not activating. Maybe I have. <laughs> now, the creepers might be through this wool, on the other side of that wool. But, uh... All right. So, for now... Let's see. Aha! So I'm going to play game mechanics and just point out that because of the um, because of the spawn radius rules, I can actually wait out the night in this spot and not have to worry about anything. So I'm going to wait here. The monsters that are out there I'm not going to worry about. Nothing can spawn inside this zone. Because I'm, uh, there isn't enough room. There's glowstone at that end. And I'm too close to everything else. So I should be safe to just wait out the night here. So, yeah, this is going to be episode one. Um, break, breaking glass, breaking wiring, and breaking bacterium. Breaking bad. <laughs> All right.